So you bought a PS4 in 2020. And everybody online is telling you, what are you thinking? Now, here is a couple of reasons why buying a PS4 in 2020 is probably the best idea you've ever had in a really, really long time. Reason number one, the PlayStation 4 in 2020 is really cheap, okay? Is really, really affordable. On offer, or depending on the occasion in the year, you're going to buy a PS4 ranging from around $280 to say $300, okay? That is way, way cheaper than the price it debuted at back in 2013, close to $400, okay? And if that's not going to push you to show you the advantage of buying a PlayStation 4 in 2020 right now, I literally don't know what will. And look at this, okay? Reason number two. See, when a console is launched, okay, in this case, when the PS4 was launched in 2013, Sony gave it time in the wild, collected data about it, how it was performing out there, all the feedback from the users. Four years later, down the line, they refreshed it, okay? They took all the issues, every problem the users were facing, fixed them, okay, and revamped the initial PS4, what it was, and brought out the other version of the PS4. Enter the PS4 Slim and the PS4 Pro. As such, the result is the PS4 Slim and the Pro perform way, way better, are literally faster, more efficient. The fan noises of the PS4 Pro and the PS4 Slim are way, way lower compared to when the PlayStation 4 was released. Reason number three as to why you may want to consider buying a PlayStation 4 in 2020 is because maybe, as we speak right now, you are in an older generation console. I'm talking about PS2, PS3, PS1 in 2020, maybe if you live under a rock. The PS4 is what you should be looking at. Right now, I know, as we speak, PS3 games are not being supported. We are not getting any new releases. I'm talking new releases on racing games, arcade games, first-person shooting games, sports games like uh, Maiden and FIFA. Those releases, every cool new release coming out isn't coming out for the PS3, okay? It's coming out for the PS4. So why get left out on all those new releases when you're stuck on the PS3 instead of just buying a PS4 and enjoying yourself? The next reason you might want to consider buying a PS4 in 2020 is if the news and the rumors and the leaks and the renders about the PS5 are to be believed, PS5 is going to be backwards compatible, okay? Meaning all the games you buy for the PS4 right now are going to be supported on the PS5, meaning you can play those games on the PS5 and they're going to get support and updates on the PS5. Now, I know at this point you're asking me, why not just wait for the PS5 and buy the PS5 instead of buying a PS4, using it, then switching to the PS5. Number one, and I hope I'm really wrong about this, the PS5 looks like it's going to be delayed this year because of that thing that I can't mention because this video will get demonetized and suppressed, okay? That thing that has half the world under quarantine, that's not affecting Antarctica, that thing, you know, that thing that started here, that thing. So why not just buy a PS4 right now, use it as you wait for the PS5, and the next reason you should consider buying a PS4 is after using the PS4 that you've bought, and the PS5 comes out, you can always go trade in your PS4, add some cash, and get the PS5. It's smart planning and logistics. And I know you might be asking me where in 2020 can I get a gaming shop that offers services like this, services where you can go trade in your old console, add some cash, and get a new one. Well, I've got you sorted with today's video sponsor, Vivid Gold. Hit up Vivid Gold for all your gaming needs. I'm talking about gaming consoles, buying uh, game controllers, buying games, the best, latest, and greatest games. Right now, I'm actually playing Mio 2. I got it from Vivid Gold. 
that game is so hard. I have been killed literally over a hundred times just fighting the first boss. So yeah, there you have it. You can't buy a PS4 right now. Just use it however you want to use it. Obviously, take good care of it. Then when the PS5 launches, you trade that PS4 in for a PS5. Obviously, just add some cash on top. Next reason, let's talk about the PlayStation 4 longevity. Okay, so even after the PS5 comes out, after it's released, the PS4 right now, as it is, is going to get support and updates, okay? Quality updates, security updates, and game updates, okay? See, the same way they launched the initial PS4 back in 2013, then a couple of years down the line, they launched the other variants of the PS4, but continued to support the initial variant of the PS4, the initial PS4, is the same way they're going to support the PS4 years after the PS5 has been released. Are you following me? And that, in its own sense, makes it literally a no-brainer as to why you should get the PS4 and just hold on to it for those couple of years. And if anything, buy a PS5 alongside the PS4 if you have the money, if you have all that cash lying around in the house. The next reason you might want to consider buying a PS4 in 2020 is the wide library of PlayStation titles out there, okay? Especially first-person perspective titles. Now, let's face it, PlayStation has a wider library of exclusives, of exclusive game releases, title releases than Xbox. And considering when these releases were dropped, they're actually selling for much, much cheaper than they launched. So you're going to buy these games at a cheaper price and enjoy them on your PS4 and get support for those games for a longer period of time. And that brings me to the last point uh, of why you should buy a PS4 in 2020. Which one should you go for? Should you go for the PS4 Slim or the PlayStation Pro? On both variants, the Slim and the Pro, you get a one terabyte storage option, okay, onboard storage. Both support HDR gaming, okay, but the Pro takes that HDR up a notch and supports 4K gaming. Gaming in 4K, I must say, has to be among the top 10 inventions made on planet Earth, and that's just the truth. Remember, you're switching over to 4K gaming on that PlayStation Pro at a considerably cheaper price than what you could have bought that PS4 Pro at when it first debuted. So just choose between the PS4 Pro and the PS4 Slim. The Slim obviously just offers a smaller form factor, a much more compact smaller form factor. Talking about speed and performance, obviously they're going to just vary a teeny bit from the Slim to the Pro. The Pro is obviously more powerful, but at the end of the day, these are both very solid consoles and you going out and spending your money on them is going to be the best decision you've ever made in 2020. Mark that. So that's it for today guys. Thank you for watching this video to this point. Hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell. Share this video with your friends. All relevant links if you want to go purchase the PS4 Mega Pack in the description below. For all your gaming needs, remember Shop Vivid Gold. Link to them in the description. So that's been it. This is Lord Hesian. See you in the next one.